So let's look at an example of the exponential graph. So fx is equal to 2x minus 1. So the best way to draw these types of graphs is to actually first draw this shape. This is a little bit different than the ones we've usually had. Is just to first draw the shape and then to move it where we want it. Okay, but you can draw it either way. So let's just forget for one moment, let's just forget about that part, the negative one. In the end, we know that is going to move my graph one move down. Okay, so let's just look at the basic that, 2 to the power of x, and, and we know, well, that more or less looks like that. More or less. And where does it cut my x-axis? There. 2 to the power of 0 is equal to 1, so it cuts at 1. What is the vertical, as this one's vertical um, or horizontal asymptote <coughs> is right here. That's the horizontal asymptote. So if everything has to move one step down, sorry, this is uh, y is equal to 0. If everything has to move one step down, And that goes one step down now it cuts at zero and I just do the same shape there we go this is the function fx is equal to 2x minus 1 basic shape okay how about this one Okay, again, let's just look at the most basic shape. I see my base, my B value is less than 1. So it should, if it was more than 1, it would have looked like this. But it is less than 1, so it is going to look like this. Okay, I'm just drawing it in lightly so that I can move it. And again, my horizontal asymptote is the x. In this case, is y is equal to 0. Okay, and now I see, oh, we are doing something to the x value. What are we doing to the x value? Well, um, we are subtracting 1, which means things are happening later. Okay, to make things happen later, which means it's moving to the right. So this point used to be the point 0 for x and 1 for y, and now it's moved a little bit further to 1 for x and 1 for y, which means I take just exactly this shape, and I go through that point, and still it's only moved sideways it hasn't moved up and down so my horizontal asymptote still stays the same and that's it <coughs> there we go let's look at another one Now this one is actually quite intense and it would be very unlikely for you to get a graph like this or a function like this. Okay, usually they only give you two parameters at a time. <coughs> so they are not very unkind. First we see that B is less than 1. So we know that it's going to have this shape. 
um, in other words going to um, infinity on the negative side of the x-axis but we also see that C is negative remember we said that this one determines <coughs> whether it is heading to the um, to positive infinity or negative infinity okay so that one is obviously going to negative infinity <coughs> <coughs> So that my graph is going to be look somewhat like that, where it's going to cut at what is that point going to be? Well, um, again, let's forget about moving my graph for now. So let's just think of this. That point is the y-intercept, so where x is equal to 0, which means that point is going to be negative 2. This is going to be 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. That's the point negative 2. And my again, I still have the same horizontal asymptote. Y is equal to 0. But now everything must move up with one unit. Okay. So instead of having Y equal to 0, I will have Y equal to 1 as my horizontal asymptote. So that is 1 This is y is equal to 1, that's my horizontal asymptote, and instead of intersecting at negative 2, everything moves up 1, so I'm going to intersect at negative 1. And there we go, let's just draw that one in, um, attempting to reach there, and this one going off to infinity. There we go, it's not that bad. Um, it's very seldom there you go it's not that bad good luck in trying some on your own now cool good luck there you go not that bad you see